want you to see yourself starting to move towards the end of this tunnel. And Jesus takes you through a gateway and you step into a new realm. And in this realm, be aware of the currents of the spirit moving. And as you stand there, Song of Song 416, awake north wind and come south wind, blow on my garden that its fragrance may spread everywhere. So as you are standing in this realm, in the realm of the wind, I want you to see from the north that there's this billow of smoke wind rising up. And from the south, the same is starting to happen. See the color in that wind building. Color, frequency, there's a fragrance in that wind. And as it builds up, the south comes from behind you, the north comes from your front and they both clash into your spirit and they start to blow a wind over your garden in this wind is frequency vibration there are seeds within this wind there are blueprints in the wind that is being released and blown into your garden as it blows into your garden be aware of what is it releasing there are new seeds being deposited in your garden as this wind is blowing. That wind might be pruning some things in your garden. So I'm just going to give you a couple of minutes to just experience the north and the south wind that is blowing into your garden and what is busy happening in that place. This is in the garden of your spirit, the seat of your heart, that intimacy chamber.
together with the north and the south wind, Jesus rises up as a spirit wind, and he comes from the west and from the east. Now in the temple, the spirit came in, or the glory came in from the east gate, and the Ark of the Covenant was positioned in the western wing of or the western side of the temple. So from both these sides, the spirit of Jesus is moving in towards your garden. And in a far more gentle approach, he is breathing his breath over your garden. In that breath is a renewal happening within your garden. He is breathing things to life. He is breathing nourishment into the ground. He is breathing life into seeds. So there's a complete awakening that is accompanying the breath of Jesus as he blows over your garden. When he blows over your garden, you breathe it in as well as you engage that breath and release it. And then in this process, what is Jesus stirring up? What is he awakening in your garden? Remember, Jesus' breath is personal. So if he's awakening or bringing something to life, it's something personal between the two of you as well. In the Passion Translation, it says, stir up the sweet spice of your life within me. Spare nothing as you make me your fruitful garden. In the breath that Jesus breathes over your garden, he is releasing a new fragrance that is unique to your garden. 
He's releasing fragrant spices that align with his fragrance. Because he is making your God in his habitation. Fragrance is important because it's got to do with ascension. So if he releases a new fragrance in your garden, it means he's opening up a new realm of engagement. Revealing something in your garden that you've never experienced before. Now, in this garden, Jesus is coming to you, and though the garden is in you, you are in the garden, he comes to you, and he is blowing over your spirit a new fragrance. And as he blows that fragrance over your spirit, over your garden, you ascend into a new realm into your garden. And it opens up a complete different portal that you step in. And he wants to show you something new about his relationship with you and what he wants to enjoy from you. So as he blows that fragrance, see yourself swirling in that fragrance, see the colors, the angels that facilitate that fragrance, that usher you towards the gate. You move with the fragrance through that gate. And in that realm, Jesus wants to show you.
be aware that in this realm, Jesus wants you to be raw and real with him. It's in a place of explosive love. And there are new advances coming from Jesus towards you. He's loving you. He's touching you in ways you've never experienced. There's an electricity in the frequency that is releasing in you that is opening up realms of intimacy that you have never engaged with him before. There's a vulnerability in this realm that he wants you to step into. As you entangle with Jesus, just feel your spirit man is just ascending into those new realms of intimacy. That there's an unlocking taking place in your spirit of engaging in a love relationship with him that is just in a completely new and uncharted level.
this place there might be things that you need to surrender insecurities or worries fears If there are any, and as you hand them over, see and breathe over those things, the, the new fragrance that he's releasing. You're aware in this realm, Jesus is awakening the gates of first love. So in other words, that first love he already had of you before you were breathed in the body, before time. God is stirring up that primordial love, that first love that was com it's completely untainted from anything earthly. And he's awakening your spirit into that realm to experience that love and frequency that fragrance In this garden where Jesus is breathing that breath and that fragrance over you, 
want you to see Yahweh come from one side and the Holy Spirit coming from another side. And like a triangle, the three are together blowing a fragrance towards you. Those three dimensions of the fragrances come in one, form a oneness, the Echad, in your spirit, and Jesus, Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, move towards you and step into your spirit. In that motion, it creates that oneness in the garden. Of the Lord God, he is one within your spirit. In that motion, each one of them are just blowing fragrance into you. And as they are doing it, it's like a steam engine. And they're just blowing and blowing fragrance in your garden, in your spirit. And I want you to, as they're doing that, you breathe it in and out as you're activating it into your spirit. In that fragrance is the ecstasy of the oneness we have in him. The ecstasy of the inner chamber of our gardens entangling. In that fragrance, he's impregnating your garden with the beauty of his countenance and his presence being released in you. In that fragrance is that intensity of love, acceptance, In this realm and in this experience, through the, the breath and the fragrance that is released from the Father, Son, and the Spirit, from that place of oneness, I want you to see there are new things that are just bursting forth from your spirit. So a whole new garden is erupting from your innermost being and just expanding and growing. 
you might not know what it is you might know what it is maybe you can identify the fruit but just activate that there's something new growing within your garden There can be all sorts of things that have sprung forth, new waterfalls, streams, whatever it is. And I want to see yourself positioned in the middle of that garden, both with Yahweh, Yeshua, Ruach, holding hands with you. And as you are standing in that position, there's this energy ball of fragrance, presence, building in the middle of the four of you. And it starts to grow and grow and grow. And you see that energy in that ball expanding, the colors expanding, until it swallows all four of you into the middle of that ball of energy, which is the glory fire of the oneness that we have in and through him. And you just feel how it just consumes you completely. As that ball is a product of the oneness and the new that is being, was created and released. from the new fragrance. And just take a minute and just soak up that energy, that glory. Feel the intensity of the spirit and that interaction in that ball of fire. As you are in that ball of fire, this new garden that was created, this new realm of intimacy, a new realm or dimension of the oneness that we experience in him, in that ball of fire, that energy, that fragrance, I want you to see yourself where you are seated now in that ball, where you are lying down. And I just want you to open up your eyes. I want you to practice going forward. To step into, to, so the reason why we did it specifically that you're in the ball of fire and you open your eyes, because you've got to break the cycle of having to go in, that you realize that you are now in that new God and you function from that new God and you function from that new realm of intimacy that Jesus is. So when you journal, when you pray, just for a moment, just imagine that you are in that new ball of energy or that garden 
because you are now operating from that new realm of intensity where Jesus is showing that new love, the new oneness expression and what he wants to show you, etc. So we've activated that new realm. We've activated that new garden from where you are going to do walks with Jesus and where he's going to tell you stuff and, and reveal, etc. And you're going to sing love songs to him and the angels are going to chant love songs over you. You are in that new place where Jesus is going to reveal new mysteries and secrets to you. Good. Is there, I'm going to open up. If there's anybody that would like to share, you can um, go ahead. Can I share? <laughs> go for a direct. Wow. I mean, I have hardly words, honestly, for just the depths of his love. Like when you have just gone through one level and then there is another level and then there is another level and there is another level. And <laughs> it's like, wow, Lord. Um, so I'm not going to tell everything because that's not <laughs> possible. But um, just a couple of things. He started out with where we had been two weeks ago with the garden of my heart. And at that time, there was a part of my heart that was still desert. And so first of all, he, he just replaced part of that with California um, redwoods, which I love. <laughs> and I was like, Lord, those need ages to grow. And he's like, yes, but they have grown in me. And so I was like, thank you. And another part, and this was the part that I was like, um, I like it now, but I'm not sure I want to keep this this way, was he turned part of it into an Amaka land. And of course, I love the flowers. <laughs> it's like, yes. Um, but I'm like, but that's only for a short time. So we need to have another talk about that. <laughs> um, but uh, so in between, I'm like, I want something else there. Um, but I think he's kind of saying that's a part for him that he wants to do something special with. Um, the part that I really wanted to share that really was beautiful is like when we just went up to the next level, he took me to the library and there are gardening books there. So he's like, here's the gardening section, go for it. And so, and I, and then I realized that the, all the, the gardening instructions were like, do you want to grow roses for, to, for your lover? then this is what you need to do. These are the things that, the kind of healing that you need, the, time, the kind of things that he wants to do in your heart. And the beautiful thing was like, as soon as you say you want it, he is there to take care of it. And so those books are awesome. And, and so it's like any, any issues, he just brings the instructions and he comes with the instructions. Oh. Wow. I like that, Dorit. Thank you for sharing that. You know, it's sometimes also just in the simple things, you know. Hello. <laughs> that was a very broken hello. <laughs> I think your internet connection is um, suffering. Is, is it you, Alison? Okay. Um, while we wait, I just sometimes find it, it's also just in the simple things that we just encounter, you know, for, you know, a hurt I was dealing with. And Jesus was just standing in front of me with a bunch of roses, you know, and he was just saying to me, but I'm here wooing you, you know, accept these roses from me. Each rose represents my undying, passionate love for you. And then he starts to give me each rose and he tells me something that he loves about me and 
you know, and every rose he takes and he gives it to me and I smell it and then he just releases new stuff. And, you know, it just, you know, it like brings you to tears how the creator of heaven and earth stands in front of you wooing your love. I mean, it's like, I mean, you, you don't even have words to describe something like that, you know? And so in that garden, he was just new things that he was planting and then he's giving it to me and then he tells me how much he loves me. And then he tells me this flower means this and this flower represents this about you. So it's like, there was my part of sharing. Go for it, Lindy. <laughs> I just want to tell you, I'm so in love with him. I'm a dude that's just so in love with Jesus. I just like, man, <laughs> marry me. <laughs> um, mine was a bit interesting. Um, it wasn't what I expected at all. I, I started smelling fresh cement and fresh asphalt. And I'm like, wow, what is this going on in my <laughs> And um, I had such a sense. I was shown um, a bridge being built. And it was being built together from both sides. And then I, I smelled uh, one of the other fragrances was salty air. And um, when you started sharing about picturing the north and then the south wind, I was in the middle of this bridge that was completely built now and then I saw um, the white was from the north and then I saw gold from the south and it began to swirl in a whirlwind that I was in the middle of on this bridge and I was being taken up and then I saw um, waters part underneath me and I began to have the understanding from the Holy Spirit that it opened up that the next level began to be like a mountain in the middle of this bridge and I was being taken up and the, the waters parted and it was a brand new beginning, just like the water breaking with the, with the baby. So that was wow. part of it. very interesting. So not expected at all. So yeah, I must say, I was also surprised when cement and asphalt, I was like, mm, whoa. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing that Lindy. The end, go for it. Thank you. So mine is like um, an invitation to be open. Like, are you willing to, to really share and open up to what it is I want to use you to reveal? And... Um, quite confronting <laughs> I'm thinking wow <laughs> I'm confronted <laughs> <laughs> um yeah this is very um I'm not really it's not I don't know how to even express it it's almost like like you said being naked are you prepared to be naked and I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm still sort of thinking, oh, I don't know about that. Um, so there's that, there's that, because um, it's like accessing another level. And um, he wants to be seen. He wants to be seen. And it's like, are we prepared to open up? It's like that garden full of fragrance. And he wants the world to smell his fragrance. And are we prepared to open up so uh, he can be seen? Not us, but him. So uh, he always invites me into a pool just to soak. He's, he's always in, there's an invitation to soak. And uh, I also saw an image of just, I'll just read what I saw. It's easier. Um, well, it's safer, I should say. 
I'll read this. <laughs> Song of Solomon 6, um, verses 2 to 3. My beloved has gone down to his garden, to the bed of his sp of spices, to graze in the garden and to gather lilies. I am my beloved and my beloved is mine. He graces among the lilies. And I saw an image of just being covered in all these lilies. Yes. And the, the fragrance coming from the garden and the spices and the mingling of the spices and the fragrance. And I smell like honeysuckle. And I had the experience of being in like one of those balmy summer evenings where it's all nice and calm and beautiful and warm and delicious. Yeah. It was very, uh, very nice, juicy. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Diane. Thank There's you. definitely, I think Jesus is also just challenging comfort zones. You know, we've all got comfort zones and he's, he wants us to open up in places that we, we stayed hidden, mm. you know, um, due to natural or earthly experiences where we've got hurt or etc and jesus is wanting to climb into those places and say so it's it's now time thank you dean for sharing all righty is that it Marvelous. You guys are Ascension rock stars. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your experiences. And they're definitely more of a personal nature. You know, it's not always sharing easy to share with stuff that's so personal. But Jesus is definitely opening up new and deeper intimacy, which is where he's taking the bride you know if we want to be the bride it's intimacy chamber stuff and um so i'm excited for our journey ahead i love you guys big time and um so just remember going forward the link for the for the zoom sessions are now on the blog it's just after the blog before the you know after the activation prayer it will be there and um yeah yeah Love you guys. Have an awesome day further. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Blessings. Bye. Blessings. Happy Love birthday. You Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bye. Happy birthday. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 Enjoy. Thank you, Peter Thank you, too. Thank you.